All right, what is up you guys? It's the Sandman, back at it again. We're doing an interesting reaction on the channel. We're actually looking at an acoustic song performance of Snuff by Corey Taylor. Obviously he wrote the song by Slipknot, which I have heard before. It's such a beautiful song. I love the the drop tuning with the chords and the, the just the lyrics really definitely tug at your heartstrings, man. But I especially wanted to react to this. It popped up my rock recommended. Um, and just came out of a relationship pretty recently, right? So I know what these lyrics uh, you know, are about more or less and um, you know, it's interesting because on the channel I made a video reacting to Queen's Love of My Life, which is around the start of my relationship uh, back in November of last year um, and then now we're reacting to Snuff, you know, the end of it. So I'm curious to see uh, how this will move me. So let's go. I'm going to play you a very heavy song for me. Uh, it's just it's just hard to get through. So I'm obviously going to need all the help I can get on this. Are you ready? All right. First off, obviously we'll get into these lyrics, man, but um, just the storytelling through the guitar playing, I mean, the transitions between the verse to the chorus, when he picked up just the intensity, the volume, I mean, the sound on this is so beautiful. The sound is so rich and beautiful. I really love it. I really, really do love it. And the crowd coming in in the chorus, it's just, it's just almost like a so cinematic right it's just really beautiful to see this man you can tell Corey's he's like really almost trying to hold it together man he's not lying i mean even me like i'm also kind of holding it together like i i never realized like now that i put these lyrics into context like personally like, i never realized how deep like these the things he's saying are right um bury all your secrets in my skin come away with innocence leave me in my with my sins right can't get things off my chest um the air around me still feels like trap right you're trapped you're trapped in your feeling you're trapped um You're stuck. Um, you're stuck. Even though you're free, technically you know, broken up out of the relationship, you still feel trapped. You know. Um, and yeah, love love is just a camel falls for what resembles rage, right? I mean, that's kind of what thing you know how things turned out for me towards the end of what I had too. 
you know, with someone else in, um, And it's like motivated by fear, right? Which is hard. It's very hard to like reflect on that. And him singing that lyric, I, I'm sure like, it's this love is a disguise of like, the, you think that love, the things are motivated by love, right? Sometimes you argue, but underneath it's with a loving motive, right? The, underneath it's love, but when love itself is or what you perceive as love, you find out is motivated by something deeper and darker, like, you know, rage, fear. Um, it just, it takes you, it, it mentally, it's just so hard to come to terms with that, man. So, I mean, when he said that, it's just, whew, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, If you love me, let me go, run away before I know. Because I knew getting to the end, right, before I eventually had to just, just, you know, get it over with and just call it off. I was hoping, some part of me was hoping, like, if you love, if you see how I'm, like, struggling in, in our situation, just do it for me, please. Because I'm not man enough to do it. I'm not, I don't have the courage to do it, right? And run away before I know. Um... Just, just leave me without the pain, you know, leave me with the, just, just with the fact that, okay, you ran away and then it just didn't, it wasn't meant to be, but not how it actually was, ended up ending, you know, so that would have been a lot easier for me to take. Um, so let's get back into it. I don't deserve to have you. Smile was taken long ago If I can change I hope I never know Almost lost it there a little bit, man. Um, whew, wow. 
take a bow, sir. Corey Taylor, icon. It's crazy, man. I saw him live. I saw Slipknot live. Um, uh, one of their recent Knot Fest tours, I think about a year and a half ago. And to think this guy can write a song like this. I mean, it all comes from within, right? Even Slipknot, the, the lyricism, the themes um, of even their most heavy hitting, fast, frantic tracks, right? It stems from like, it can stem from something like this, right? Except it manifests itself in, a, in rage and fury and fire. Um, and then now this one's like more reminiscence, right? Um, and you take in like the beauty of what was and the pain and like, It's like a sobering reality of, you know, of how this is like how you normally like this after, you know, tough break. I mean, this is him writing about his ex-wife, right? I mean, that I can't imagine that. I mean, mine was, uh, I knew the person for around a year, but I mean, seriously, seriously, it was six months, something like that. But I mean, some of the stuff is just crazy. I mean, Seeing him get through it, I mean, the vocals, so controlled, even amidst all the emotion, because you could tell he was, he was feeling it, right? He was feeling it. The crowd got him going. He was feeding off the crowd, singing the song too. I think the crowd really did help him, like, get through the song. But you see how much of a professional he is, right? So controlled. Um, and... This is, I mean, some of these lines, I only wish you weren't my friend, then I could hurt you in the end. I never claimed to be a saint. Right? That because, um, because, like, you became friends, like, you're still friends, right? You still care about the person. You guys, like, a whole space of your mind, your soul is occupied by this person that you were with, Right? And you become best friends. You can't hurt them. No matter what you are upset about, that things should have gone differently and things like that. It's hard because you have to do it the right way. And you just feel bad about hurting them. And then it cycles back into guilt and it eats itself, eats itself, eats itself. Um, and it, it, it's crazy. Um, it took the death of hope to let you go. Um, and they, even now, man, you still cling, you cling on to the hope, you cling on to hope and people can cling on to hope for a long, long, long time. Um, I want to hear, I want to hear that these last two courses again, man. Let's go. I only wish you were my friend. All right, let's go. And when you refuse to fight, when you refuse to, you can tell like Corey probably was feeling strongly, right, about fixing things, getting things right. Um, you know, the hate that you feel, the, the some of the arguments that happen. You hope the other person kind of reciprocates that anger, the anger, the the tears. You know, you hope to see that. You don't. You know, you don't want them to feel that way, but you hope that they're on the same page as you, right? And that part is very, very hard. Because logically, you don't want them to be that way, but you just know that if they're invested as you are, they ha like, they, you want them to be invested as you are. They want, you want to seem like they care as much as you do. You know, I mean, it's very profound, those that word when you refuse to fight. I really love that. Let's go. So save your breath, I will not care. Love the grit. I think I made it very clear. Mm. You couldn't hate enough to love. Is that supposed to be enough? Uh. I only wish you were my friend. That, that is I badass. Mm. I never claimed I mean, look at the way he's 
just by feel alone, when he gets that grit, you get glimpses of like, like yeah, that's Corey Taylor, like the the bad, like the savage Corey Taylor in there a little bit, and then you get the whispers, like the little airiness in his voice, right? Um, then I could hurt you in the like that little quiet, almost like a ghost note. I could hurt you in the end. Like I love that. It is so, yeah, so raw, just genuine, man. Just so raw. I bet he does it different every single time, of course. <laughs> I am... Gosh. Amazing. So break yourself against my stones. Yeah. Mmm. Never need any help. You saw me out to save yourself. Oh, wow. Hey, I will listen to your shame. Woo. You ran away, you're all the same mm. Angels lie to keep control I love that mm, My love was punished long ago If you still get it, will never let me know You still get it, will never let me know Woo. Yeah, this. I like. I mean, I like that. Break yourself against my stones, right? Because me myself, I do kind of have a tendency to have like a hard exterior, right? Just hard to open up. And this person that I was with really allowed me to do that. But then I almost felt vulnerable, right, in the midst of things, and and it felt great when things were going great, and then thing when things started to not feel so right and then that vulnerability really just very made me very exposed i felt very um at, you know i feel like i could be hurt at any second it's very hard to do that and then of course you redevelop that exterior and it sucks because you know reconnect efforts make or are made there you know i've done it before um and then you know she's done it before too and then you, you you hate to be that person where they try to you know get reach out get back in touch sometimes and um you know and then of course angels lie to keep control right they tell you things you want to hear and then you second guess stuff that you've heard while you were together and it's just very brutal brutal way of thinking man when something like this happens but that is just life right um this is a very beautiful performance um very beautiful performance man and it's it was hard for me to be you know my usual analytical self right talking about the vocals the core progression but this is just completely different because it's it caused me really to visualize things that have happened to me and just really connect with the lyrics man because i now have it it's sunk they've sunk deeper in me than i would have ever imagined so wow snuff Corey taylor fantastic fantastic <sighs> glad i was able to hold it together man barely but sam and checking out peace